In this short video segment, we're going to talk about text entry within cells of Excel and also methods for text wrapping within cells. Now in Excel, wherever you click becomes your active cell and once you start typing, it will accept that text into the cell that you've typed it into. And here I'm going to type into column A, the first row, cell A1. This is the first column. And you'll see as you start typing, it continues to go across to the right. And if I look at what I have here, it looks like it actually spans across. In fact, it does span across column B and part of column C. I know my text exists solely in A1. If I were to click on that cell, I will see the text it contains over here in the formula bar. All right. Now, if I go into column B and I start typing, this is the second column. See what happens. All right, what was in column A gets cut short or truncated here to make room for what begins in column B. Now again, if I click in column A, cell one, I'll see the entire statement I typed in the formula bar. If I click in column B, row one, I see the entire statement I typed there in my formula bar. The thing is, what I've typed is not displaying. So my options are to widen column A, so I see the entire contents, and I might want to do the same thing to column B, so I see the entire contents of the cell contained beneath it. Now, those columns are not very wide, so what we have might be okay, but say you have a column in your spreadsheet for comments. I'm going to widen that column there. Now, comments will likely contain sentences or narratives of information that could become quite lengthy. And let's see what happens when I enter a lengthy comment into this cell here. All right, you see what's happening. It continues all the way over to the right. And what happens is as I create additional columns of information, in order to display everything in column C, I'm going to have to make that column very wide. And that's going to limit the amount of information or the number of columns that are visible on my screen. This is where we need to look at wrapping the text within the cell. So it wraps around and takes up more than one line, but within the same cell. The thing is, if I'm in this cell here and I click enter, the standard behavior within Excel upon hitting enter will simply take you down a row to the next cell down one row. It will not wrap the text around like it would do in Word or a word processing type program. What we need to do is change the formatting for the cells to allow wrapping. And you can do that on a cell-by-cell -cell basis, or you can do that for a range of cells, or for an entire column or several columns at a time. Here I'm clicking on column C, that heading. It's selecting my entire column. Since this is my comments column, I want to wrap the text within every cell in column C. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my my alignment group of icons on the home tab of the ribbon. I'm going to click that little icon at the bottom right, that little arrow, which takes me into the format dialog because we want to get to the alignment tab here. So what I did is I went to the home tab of my ribbon, went to the alignment group of icons, and I clicked this little icon at the bottom right, which brings up my format cells dialog box. Alternatively, you can right click over your selected range of data and then come down and select format cells. It takes you to the same place. Now here in the format cells dialog, we're going to come down to the text control section. I'm going to click on wrap text to put a check mark within that box. What that's doing is that's applying the text wrapping attribute to the entire range of cells that I highlighted. I click on OK and it applies text wrapping. Now as I make my column C narrower, notice how the text within that second row 
okay, which is just fine. And if I type into the next cell down, when I reach the right edge, it wraps around and it maintains that cell wrapping formatting. Now if I come over to another column elsewhere on the spreadsheet that does not have the text wrapping applied, it will just keep continuing out to the right until or unless I turn on the text wrapping feature. Now you have another way of applying text wrapping manually while you're typing within a cell. So let me come over here to column A, row 2, and I'm going to start typing some information. And I get to the point where I want to wrap my text. I'm in entry, text entry mode because I have my cursor flashing, my insertion point there within the cell. As I type, when I get to the point where I want to force the wrap, hold in the Alt key on your keyboard. I'm holding in my Alt key. With the Alt key held in, I'm clicking on the Enter key. That will wrap me within the cell and I can continue typing. So that wraps the text within that cell manually. So there you have two different methods, one of which is applying formatting through the format menu under the alignment tab, the wrap text feature. The other way is to manually create your wrapping within a cell by hitting in the Alt key and then the Enter key.